Number 57. In an experiment, a sample of NaClO3 was 90% decomposed in 48 minutes. Approximately how long would this decomposition have taken if the sample had been heated 20 degrees higher? And then they say, hint, assume the rate doubles for each 10 degree rise in temperature. Okay, so we basically just want to know how much time are we cutting back? right, from the 48 minutes. They wanted to know approximately how long would this decomposition have taken, 90%, um, if we just have jacked up that temperature 20 degrees higher. Well, first thing is, you know, did they tell us what temperature it was in the beginning? No, right? But that's okay, because we can make up our own scenario. We just know that we're going to heat that sample up 20 degrees higher. So, it doesn't really matter what we're starting with. Let's say that our starting temperature was, I don't know, 10 degrees Celsius, right? And let's check out the reaction rate. Now, the reason why I'm setting up this type of two-tier chart is because it said that assume that the rate doubles for each 10 degrees rise in temperature. So we just have to find out how fast the reaction is going to go if we heated it 20 degrees. This is what we want. We want a 20 degrees increase. So maybe what I'll do is let's just get some colors going on in here. Let's say that we started off at 10 degrees Celsius and uh, reaction rate, it doesn't really matter. Let's just assume that it's traveling at, you know, not traveling, but, you know, reacting with one molarity per second. Now, the only thing that we know is that our ending has to be 20 degrees higher. So from my instance, if I'm starting off at 10, I know that my ending degree has to be 30 degrees Celsius because, because that's the plus 20 degrees Celsius. But we have to abide by the rules of the reaction. It says that the rate doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature. So how am I going to go from 10 to 30? I got to go by 10 degree increments. So the first thing is, is that I'm going to go from 10 degrees to 20 degrees because that's a additional plus uh, 10 degree Celsius. And when there's a, a 10 degree rise in the temperature, the rate will double. And by doubling the rate, that just means that you're timesing it by 2, right? So we're going to take our rate, which I arbitrarily said that it was 1, and I'm going to just times it by 2. And now my rate has doubled. Now I'm going at 2 molarity per second. We've got to do it one more time because we need to get to that 30 degrees. So if I am going from 20 to 30, that's an additional 10 degree jump. And because of that, the rate is going to double again. The rate doubles every time that 10 degrees increases. So now 2 times 2 is 4 molarity per second. So now from this information, from where we started to where we ended, we can gain information as to how fast that reaction is going to take. The ending rate was 4, de uh, four degrees, 4 molarity per second, and our initial rate was... 1. So if I take my, my ending, 4 molarity per second, and I divide it by 1 molarity per second, this is going to let me know 4 divided by 1 is 4. What does that mean? That means that if we jacked up the temperature uh, 20 degrees higher, that reaction is going to go 4 times as fast, or 4 times faster than what it was in the beginning. So when we talk about going four times as fast or two times as fast or three times as fast or whatever it is, that has to deal with time. So let's say that, let's bring this over here. Oop. Let's bring this over here. No, let's bring this over here. Yay. Okay. So we're going to say before temp change. So before the temp changed, they said that we could get that 90% decomposition in 48 minutes. But now, 
after we changed that temp, right after the temp changed. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just manipulate this a little bit just to kind of have it the same. You guys know me. <laughs> you guys know me by now. Okay, that looks good. So before the temp change, it took 48 minutes. And now we know that we're going to, you know, change uh, the rate. And it says that it's going to be four times as fast. So four times faster. That means that your time is going to drop by four times. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking 48 and dividing it by four. 48 divided by four is 12. So how long would this take? It would have taken 12 minutes instead of 48 because we know that the, it's gonna be four times as fast. 48 divided by four is 12 minutes. That's a lot of cutting back on the time. That's pretty good. And that's the answer to this problem. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna help us out. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. It's absolutely incredible. And it's all because of you guys, honestly. Thank you so much for watching the videos. You know, we pump out the content, we pump out the videos because we wanna help you guys out. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys rock. Good luck on those tests and quizzes. I'm always rooting for you guys. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.